Hi, it's Heather with the latest installment of Already Reviews. And I just got home from going out for the first time in like so long. And I thought maybe a couple of you would be interested to know that I actually went out with that girl who I thought ghosted me last week. She did call and apologize. She had fallen asleep. Um, she's actually very sick. And so I guess she laid down and her alarm didn't go off. So, so many things happen that I have to tell you about. And this, it, it's not even really like a review. I guess it's a, re it's a review of my night. How about that? And I may have made another new friend. So we went to go see this band play and they were fan fucking tastic. Like my hair's a mess. I like had, I, I did a lot of head banging. Actually, I sat there by myself for most of the night. Now, hold on a second. This, I'm st still using the Rio we tripod. I just had so much trouble having the rubber band hold my phone straight on the light. So anyway, I have like some funny shit to tell you. Only me. So I got caught at work, but I was, I was left like a bat out of hell. Got home to shower. I was so covered in paint that I took a can of paint stripper into the shower with me so I could wash with it. I didn't even care if it burned my skin off. I just needed to get back on schedule. So I had to wash, like I had to take a, my quick shower was only 15 minutes instead of like 25. But I'm, I'm back on schedule. I'm going to be on time. And as I'm walking out the door, I grab my jacket out of the coat closet. And I don't know what happened. Something got in my eye. And it wasn't like an eyelash. Whatever it was, it's still there. It's, I, I think I've just gotten lucky enough that it's all the way up at the top. It was, it's under the top lid and it was scraping across my eye and it hurt so bad. Tears were running down my face. I'm like, no, what did I do? Why? I was going to be on time. I can't, I couldn't get this fucking thing out of my eye. It hurt so bad. I smeared all of my makeup. I wound up having to take all the makeup off one side of my face. I'm gonna put, I took a picture. I'm like, I don't know if I like this woman or not. I don't, I just don't know if we're gonna, if, if we're simpatico. So I text her and I'm like, because I said to her, I'm like walking out the door and then I'm like, hold on. No, I'm not. I'm like, I have something in my eye and it hurt. How fucking stupid does that sound? I might not make it because I have something in my eye. Like, I wouldn't, I wouldn't ever do that to someone. And if, if I had to, it wouldn't be because there was something in my eye. But I was literally like, why, God? Why? Who was I in a past life that I now have to pay for this reincarnation because I'm getting to go out for the first time in so long and now my makeup's running down my face. I had to use, I'm trying to stick my eye under the sink to rinse it. I used a fucking Christmas turkey baster to try to, I couldn't get it out. But at least I'm sticking, Q I was sticking Q-tips in there. Anyway, I texted her and I'm like, I tell her, I'm like, I got something in my eye, whatever. And she's like, when she said something like, all right, we'll take your time. And I'm like, no, I might need help. Like she lives right near, lives right near me. I'm like, I might need help. I'm like, I'm, I'm going to cry. And she's like, she texts me, calm down. You're probably making it worse. And I was like, oh yeah, bitches love a calm down. Bitches love a calm down. Anytime someone's upset, the best thing you can say is calm down. Because what does that do? It certainly doesn't calm them down. I was like, okay. Well, anyway, I, I did what I could do. I get my makeup on. And now I don't have time to go pick my Jeep up. Because the place we're going is right near the mechanic where my other car still is. So I was going to swap cars out again. I had to drive the dump truck. I had to drive the dump truck to go out. And when I get there, I finally get there. She's there with her husband. I'm like, um, you told me to go digging through all my boxes that I packed to get boots and shoes out so I can get tarted up. And she's there with her husband, who happens to be a really nice guy. I mean, he was cool. But I felt like a third wheel. So I'm sitting at this table with the band playing and I'm just sitting there and you can't talk because it's loud. And an hour later, she was tired and she went home.
So I sat there by myself. I'm like, well, at least I didn't have to walk in alone. I sat there by myself. I'm like chair dancing. All these girls are dancing. And I'm like, that's okay. I'll just chair dance. And then I go outside to smoke a cigarette. And there were a couple of guys out there. And somebody said something like, "This." he's like, wasn't from town or wherever. I'm like, this is the first time I've been out in the longest time. And he's like, oh, that's cool. I'm like, yeah, except the girl that I was meeting here came with her husband. And they went home. I said, so now I'm here by myself. <laughs> so we were laughing about it. When I got inside, a really good song came on. And all of a sudden, the guy taps me on the shoulder. He's like, come on, you want to dance? And I was like, oh, I don't know. And he's like, come on. And he was just, and he was married. He was cool. It was, it was like completely platonic. He made my whole night so much better because instead of sitting there like a fucking bump on a log, I got up and I was able to dance and I was, I was headbanging. Like I missed the mosh pit days and shit. So there's this girl there who was so adorable, this tiny little thing. And she had pink glitter, like uh, Chuck Taylor's on like low tops. I'm like, those are just the cutest fucking sneakers. I'm going to have to tell her how adorable her sneakers are at some point because I can't, I'm not, I can't get her attention and I don't want to go out of my, like, I'm not going to make a scene. It's so loud. But then I see her, she's up there and she's smiling. This girl had the most sweet, adorable smile. I had like a girl crush on her. It, her smile lit up the whole room. All I thought to myself is that is the smile of a really sweet person. And she looks like fun. She's up there dancing by herself. I'm like, maybe I can be friends with her. So I wait for like an opportunity and I walk, the music's top for a second. And she was up there like talking to the band. So here, are you with the band? And she's like, oh, the lead singer is my husband. I'm like, oh, that's so cool. So I just wanted to tell you that your sneakers are adorable. And she's like, oh, thank you. I said, but what's more important is that when you smile, the whole room lights up. And she was like, oh, thank you. I'm like, you're welcome. I just, I saw you smile a few times. And I'm like, I'm thinking to myself, I'm like, you ever, you, I'm like, you just look like a nice person. And I went back and I sat down. Well, when the song was over, she was beaming. And she came over to me and she was like, and I love the word she used because it's the word I use. She said, thank you so much. That was so, she, that was so kind of you to say. And I'm like, oh, you're welcome. I'm like, you know, I mean, you really have like this really genuine smile. Like you look like you're enjoying yourself. You look like a nice person. You know, you look like you're a nice person. She's like, you made my, you just made my whole night. And I was like, oh, good. Well, now thank you. And so she went off and did her own thing. And I'm like, I want to be friends with her. Okay, she looks fun. I want to be friends with her. So then that after that was when the guy came and made me go dance. So like we're all out on the dance floor and everyone was having a good time. And so at one point it was like towards the end of the show and she, I, I said, um, I'm trying to get this right because I felt like I was hitting on her and I wasn't, I'm like, I'm like hitting on people for friends. <laughs> Actually, I've never done that. I'm, I don't really care if I'm by myself or not. It's just nice to have company once in a while. And I'm only worried because. I'm moving, and once I move, I'm not going to have TJ. <laughs> He's not that much a company anyway. But I went up to her, and I was like, so um, so I don't have any friends, and you look like you'd be, like, really fun. And she's like, don't say that. What do you mean? I said, um, yeah, do you see my entourage over there? She's like, ah. I said, it's okay. <laughs> it's okay. I accept it. And she's like, what? I said, so I just thought maybe, like, if you if you ever do this kind of stuff, or I said, I feel like I'm hitting on you. I said, but I'm not. She laughed. So he said, if you do this kind of stuff or if you want to go do something, she's like, oh, that would be great. So I'm like, so can I give you my number? Like, I, what, what the fuck did I just do? So I had a card. I'm like, let me give you my card. I gave her my card. <laughs> let me give you my card. Uh, and she's like, hi, what's your name? She's like, I said, she's like, I'm Christy. I'm like, hi, Christy. I'm Heather. So she gave me like this cute little dainty handshake. And then she told me she would call or text me. She's like, are you on Facebook? I'm like, no. So, but I said, but I text. <laughs> so I may have made a friend. I don't know if I like this other girl. I, I feel bad that she's sick. I do. I feel she's, I mean, really sick. So um, I feel bad. 
And her husband said that she doesn't go out and that she felt terrible that she slept last week, but she's so sick that she, you know, she wants to do stuff. I mean, I might hang out with her, but I just don't know if we're going to have as much in common. You know, I don't, I don't know that I would ever tell someone to calm down if they were freaking out and it, I don't know, whatever. So, but I may have made a new friend with Christy and, and she can wear her pink sparkly low tops and we can go and be friends. <laughs> so, but here's, it gets even better. So I walk outside. It's the end of the night. I'm leaving. But I'm like, fuck it. Let me stand outside and smoke a cigarette. There's like a group of people. I don't know what I did with my lighter. So then someone says something about a truck. <laughs> Everyone's looking at Christine. So I'm like, which truck? And they're like, that, that old Chevy. I said, oh, the turquoise truck? They're like, yeah, I've been looking at it all night, trying to figure out whose it is. I'm like, mine? He's like, shut up. He's like, get, he didn't say shut up. I say, he's like, get out of here. I'm like, no, that's Christine. I'm like, that's my dump truck. I said, that's my turquoise dump truck. It's my company color. It's my signature color. He's like, what do you do? So I was telling him, this guy was like, thought it was the coolest fucking thing in the world. We started talking about epoxy countertops. Some guy standing next to him goes, I have no idea what you guys are talking about. He goes, I do. I know what she's talking about, and she knows what she's talking about. He's like, I think it's so awesome. So you're a handy woman? I'm like, I, I just call it a handyman. I'm like, I don't need to change the fucking name. It's always been a handyman. That's what I am. Handy Heather. And he's like, that's so cool. I wish more women would, would get into it like that. He said, you know why? Because you guys are probably so much better at all the finish work. Because you pay attention to detail. Guys are sloppy. I said, you are 100% correct. I said, my work may not be masterful. I said, but I am fantastic at the finish work and I do a much better job of cleaning up afterwards. And he goes, exactly. He's like, but you really sound like you know what you're talking about. I think that's so fucking cool. I was like, well, thank you. I said, so I'm going to, I'm going to go get in Christine and I'm going to go drive home. And so I wanted to share that with you guys. I got to go out and I danced and I made, I may have made a friend and everyone loves Christine. That's it. That's my, re that's the review of my evening and it gets even better. TJ's not home. He's on his annual father son hunting trip. So you know how quiet it is without other than my loud voice. There's no fucking TV on. There's no TV. It's Friday night. There's not going to be a television on Friday, Saturday or Sunday. He's like, I'll be home in time for the Bills game on Sunday. I'm like, what time is that? He's like, one o'clock. I'm like, no, you watch that game up there. He's like, so I'm like, you come home Sunday night. Go enjoy your weekend. Don't come back. So I have like two and a half days. So I'm going to get some projects done and I'm going to have some decent videos and I won't have to worry about getting pissed off and yelling at him and there won't be fucking hobbits going on in the background. So questions or comments, feel free to leave them. And if you want to hit like and subscribe, apparently some people have been. This is very, very exciting. Very exciting. Now I'm going to go put my loungewear back on and start working in the kitchen. Have a great night.